It's a stormy night here in Tennessee and I thought what better night to break out the camera and share with you a video review that I have of a product that I picked up at Walmart the other day. You've probably seen some of their uh, gear uh, at your local Walmart. This one here is actually called the RM60 from Protect or iProtect. Um, and uh, hence the 60, it is a, a 60 lumen flashlight with a green laser. And I got to thinking about that. Um, my wife in my particular situation is of course not a as pronounced shooter as I am. And I have been a firm believer that a laser could enable someone uh, to be able to shoot more accurately under stress. Uh, I feel like that it can give that person a little bit extra confidence and even if it gives you a minute of confidence in a stressful situation or in a life or death situation, why wouldn't we take that? So uh, what I wanted to do was share with you some of the pros and cons. Uh, some of the video footage that you're going to see is me going through my house um, in different areas using the light, um, a temporary on and off, and then also uh, a permanent on. Uh, but uh, please understand uh, there are no tactics being used here. I am basically just showing you different features of the light system itself and just to show you that most people who are trained to use their uh, weapon light properly use light discipline. Um, it is a momentary on and off. It is not a constant on. However, the camera has a hard time picking up and focusing, especially when it is in a momentary on and off um, instance. And so I wanted to show you the um, actually what it looks like from the other side of the room with the light. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into it and see what we got. All right, guys, here's a close-up view of the front of the weapon light uh, itself. You can see the uh, laser located here at the bottom. Now, one thing that you may notice uh, from uh, just looking at it initially is that it has a much more pronounced depth um, in comparison to most of the uh, common uh, bought and carried weapon light systems that are out on the market, uh, such as your uh, Streamlight TLRs uh, or your Surefire X300s. I happen to be uh, uh, carry quite often X300, um, and you can see a comparison in the depth of the light system itself. Now, to be fair to the Protect, um, I do not have the uh, any Surefire or Streamlight with the laser. Um, model so I'm sure that if we had a complete side-by-side -side comparison um, that uh, these would uh, these two models would probably be on a much more common ground now for mounting this uh, to your rail rail it has a uh, very common uh, attachment uh, spring-loaded point uh, just like the Surefire does here located on the top and what that does is that just makes it uh, a little bit easier to install depending on your uh, your rail uh, or your weapon of choice. Uh, located here on the left you've got your tightening screw which essentially just moves this in tighter around the rail itself um, and uh, brings in this rail guide or rail guard um, in closer to it uh, to give it a more secure fit. Here is the battery compartment uh, uh, here, which you can see it takes three, uh, there we go, three V batteries, uh, which is actually uncommon to me. I've never seen them before. Um, it's a little bit unusual, and I'm sure that they are uh, qu quite costly as in comparison to uh, any of the other batteries on the market. Uh, so it's going to be a lot less common than your one, two, three batteries uh, that come in the um, Surefire uh, lights. So anyway, located on the very back, you've got your, um, you've actually got your on and off switch here, which is ambidextrous, which is nice. I do like that feature about it. Uh, here on the uh, left, you've got the light itself in the middle selector is for the laser only. And then all the way to the right, you've got the laser and the light. We'll go ahead and turn that on. Now, it's going to be extremely hard for you to see that green laser in that flashlight because the flashlight does um, overwhelm the green laser. So let me go ahead and select just the laser only. And of course you can see it there quite fine. Um, I've used this laser outside at night and um, you can see it for, for quite a distance. Um, now in, in, uh, in comparison to a laser from let's say laser light, or Crimson Trace, you're not going to be able to see this laser quite as far, uh, but far enough to be able to get the job done in, um, in maintaining uh, good follow-up shots, etc. Of course, there's your light. Now, 
Um, we're going to take a look at, again, some additional uh, views of me going through the house. And I'm also going to try to get some footage outside of what 60 lumens looks like if you were to be forced uh, to clear around the perimeter of your home. Um, if you felt the need, maybe somebody's breaking into your garage and you needed to go uh, secure uh, that area um, or whatever you may situation you may find yourself in. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at how this actually mounts to the gun itself and I will show you some of the um, the pros to it and some of the difficulties I've had of using this and uh, we'll go ahead and we'll go with the uh, Glock first, the Glock 19 and then I'll transition to the uh, M&P Compact 40. Alright, real quick I did forget to mention a couple uh, things that uh, may be beneficial uh, if you're considering purchasing this light system. Um, one of the things is the construction of this model is made from aircraft aluminum uh, as well as the light lamp is uh, LED. It is not an incandescent light. So um, anyway, just wanted to bring up those points real quickly. Now, let's go ahead and look at the actual grip. Now, I'm a right-handed shooter. Uh, from the position of gripping the weapon, I am not able to, and of course I would uh, not want to anyway, but I am not able to activate the uh, pressure switch uh, from my right index finger. Uh, even having large hands is just impossible to do. Now, I can do this by uh, changing my grip. It's uh, using the middle finger in order to activate the, the on and off switch, okay? But uh, I don't like the way that it feels and it's not comfortable to me. So let's take a look at it from the other side. Now. With uh, most lights that I use, I use my support hand to activate the switch either on or off. Now, I'm still not able to do this with my thumb. Um, however, I can use my left index finger, okay, in order to activate the switch on and off. Um, depending on, you know, which um, mode that I have it in, whether it's a flashlight only, light and laser, or laser only. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at how the uh, uh, Smith & Wesson MP Compact uh, compares in uh, functionality with the, uh, with the light attached to it. Here's the, uh, the MP Compact. Uh, you can see that it looks like that it fits this model a lot more um, uh, flush. Uh, it looks a lot better, um, aesthetically speaking. Um, and, and honestly, after uh, using this light with this compact model, um, I believe that uh, this one is made a lot more for subcompact models. Um, this one, in my personal opinion, falls more into a subcompact uh, category versus a, a compact um, in, in comparison to the Glock 19. Again, that's my personal opinion. So let's take a look at the uh, grip functions. I can almost reach the uh, button with my thumb, um, however, I'm still not able to do so, okay? I'm still having to use the, uh, my left index finger to activate it on and off, okay? Um, with the right hand side, it's the same thing. I can almost touch it from here, I'm still not able to do that, but from a, um, from a small compact design, it seems to fit this gun um, a lot better. So now let's take a look at this outside. Um, 
I'm going to go ahead and take it off the actual gun itself uh, just for safety precautions. Also, too, I don't want to scare any neighbors, uh, and I, plus I don't want to be sweeping any of their homes uh, while I'm actually doing this. But I also wanted to show you, uh, if you are forced to, uh, to use this light outside, what 60 lumens looks like. Um, if you are clearing a perimeter around your home, maybe you're going to your garage because you heard that bump in the night. Whatever the case may be, I just want to show you what uh, types of uh, situations um, that you may find yourself in, but what the light is capable of actually doing. All right, let's take a look. For 60 lumens, some pitch black darkness. Of course, we've already woke up the neighbors. That tree right there is about 25 yards from me, and you can see the actual light around it. Shows up actually pretty good. I apologize, it takes just a second for the camera uh, in order to zoom in. Actually, I'm fairly impressed with the light outside for 60 lumens. Um, it's pretty impressive. That building right there is about 50 yards. So, I mean, that gives me the ability to, to properly identify um, any individual at that distance um, in order to be able to uh, determine if there was a possible threat there. So. All right, guys, this concludes the video review of the iProtec RM60 laser and flashlight system. Um, I believe that the, uh, the ideal behind it was absolutely great. Uh, to my knowledge, for a flashlight and green laser combo uh, with an entry point of less than $100, I don't know of anybody else that's actually put one out there on the market. Uh, it's built from aircraft aluminum, as you saw, especially on the outside and with some of the other video. Um, it, it really does uh, stand up well, especially for 60 lumens. Um, now, from a standpoint of maybe giving this to your spouse uh, or someone who is not as a proficient shooter as, let's say, yourself, or maybe somebody else, uh, this actually could really fit the bill, and I'll tell you why. From a standpoint of a, a less proficient shooter, sometimes a laser gives that uh, end user a sense of, of comfort, okay? And if you can provide them with a little bit of comfort with that laser on that gun, especially if there's ever a time when they actually really need it in a life or death situation, um, I mean, that, that's, you really can't even put a, a price on that uh, sense of comfort for that loved one. So uh, that's just one thing to consider from an, from an advanced uh, standpoint, an advanced shooter, the functionality of this uh, uh, light system um, does not stack up. Uh, at least, uh, personally speaking for me, the uh, ability to be able to use proper light discipline um, in that uh, possible life or death situation, four o'clock in the morning, you hear the, uh, you know, a bump in the night, um, you need it to be able to be uh, more functional. Now, they may come out with a second model once uh, the reviews are in and uh, they have a lot more feedback from customers such as ourselves. Uh, but until that time, uh, if you're an advanced shooter, uh, I would uh, recommend you take the additional uh, $10, $20, actually it's about $20, and buy a TLR1 from Streamlight. I believe that you will be much more happier. You are going to get a lighter, bright, uh, brighter light, excuse me, um, and you will get the uh, better functionality with the um, with the trigger system on the light. Um, so that's just a couple things to keep in mind. Um, anyway, if you have your own review of this, please leave the link down below. I would love to check it out because I love looking at other people's reviews and other uh, viewpoints. Uh, if you have any other additional questions or concerns, please leave your comments down below. And don't forget to like, comment, and share. And I uh, wish you guys to have a wonderful day. Thanks, guys.